Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Uh, I've been informed that I made a mistake. I get a lot of that. Brooks Robinson won two World Series with yeah, the two. Baltimore Orioles. Yep. As he uh, passes away at the age of 86, former Vancouver uh, Mountie. Yeah. Okay, so much talk. Uh, Ryan mentioned this before the break about the 2011 uh, Stanley Cup final in large part because, well, yesterday we found out Corey Schneider has retired. Today we find out that Roberto Luongo is going into the Canucks uh, ring uh, of honor. And, and now this, our, our next guest uh, brought to you by Able Auctions, uh, Kat Jamie. We've had her on the show before, yep. writer, producer, director, so hardworking of the documentaries Finding Big Country and The Grizzly uh, Truth. Uh, her latest work ESPN 30 for 30 documentary I'm just here for the riot focusing on the madness uh, Rick, craziness well documented uh, that broke out in Vancouver after game 7 of the 2011 Stanley Cup final it screens at the Vancouver International Film Festival October 2nd and 8th at the Vancouver Playhouse October 5th at the Old Park okay Vancouver Film Festival. I'm just here for the riot. And, and Kat joins us now, and she's uh, done this in partnership with uh, Asia Youngman. Kat, uh, thanks sir, for joining us again. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me again, Don and Rick. Yeah, hey, good. No, no problem. As sad, and, and you're from Vancouver, as mm -hmm. sad and, and embarrassing as the 2011 Stanley Cup riot was for your hometown, our hometown, did it not, just all that footage, Kat, did it not just scream for a documentary? Yeah, I mean, you know, in 2011, I, I'll admit I became a, you know, a Canucks fan. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a basketball fan. Mm. Um, but that series, I totally got swept up in the excitement um, of it all. And, you know, I was heartbroken when we lost and even more heart heartbroken when I saw what was happening. I was at home watching everything unfold, trying to make sense of it, of it all. Like it really, um, it was so upsetting um and i just needed to understand like why like why did we do this how did this happen and then of course afterwards after um you know uh after the riot had ended what happened online was also you know didn't it wasn't the best feeling either obviously yeah. um this this is known as the first smartphone riot so when i met my co-director yeah. in youngman in 2018 we both, um, you know, talked about having, uh, you know, um, the idea of telling the story because we had both felt that it kind of got swept under the rug and we actually hadn't discussed this, especially since it's happened twice in Vancouver. Yeah. So what is it about Vancouver and Vancouverites that we lose after a riot? And just one thing I'll add is that during our, through our research, we, we learned that a study that was conducted over 200 sports riots in North America, Vancouver is the only city that riots after a loss it's usually jubilation that turns into a riot yeah that happened in montreal in, in 93. um you mentioned social media there, there kat what part did it play in, in this mm -hmm. riot and in, in the making of your film i mean so social media you kind of have to remember what social media was like in 2011 so facebook was fairly new um this is at a time when we would we we were still posting albums, uh, mm -hmm. hundreds of photos to our albums, and so you know a lot of people wanted were were um, kind of curious to see what what would happen. I think that a riot was kind of on people's a potential riot was on people's minds. Mm -hmm. So pe a lot of people came down there, not with the intention to riot, but with just you know I'm going to check it out. I'm going to take some photos and I'm going to post it to Facebook. Um, and and then a lot of people obviously. Uh, were involved in the riot and post posted what they had done, not realizing that they had incriminated them. They were incriminating themselves, and so we were faced with this first um, instance of, um, you know, social shaming, um, mm. citizen surveillance, um, and these are, you know, the film is about the mechanics of a riot, how how the riot can unfold and why this riot unfolded or potential reasons why the riot unfolded, but it also really delves into the social shaming that is uh, even more prevalent today. Um, we, we see the pictures of the 2011 uh, riot as you were, you were speaking there, Kat. Some of the people who got in trouble with the law, mm -hmm. do you speak to them during this film, during the making of this film? Yes, we, we were able to chat with a, a, a handful of writers um, and who, you know, um, kind of share their story of 
how they got involved, the repercussions, the repercussions they faced, um, you know, um, online and also, you know, um, within the justice system. And so, you know, we, we, Asia and I are very grateful to those who, you know, it's a very, uh, very scary thing to do after all these years to come forward, um, you know, and to, to be brave enough to come on camera and, and talk about this, this really terrible event. Kat, uh, when you started the documentary in 218, a lot of broadcasters in Canada turned it down before in 2020 when you got to ESPN. They said yes. Why do you think uh, broadcasters in Canada were turning this down? I mean, I would love to know that for sure. I, I don't, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure if it was because, is like, is it, is it still too embarrassing for us to talk about? Um, I mean, Asia and I felt like in 2011, I, I, I just graduated from film school. I, brought my camera downtown because I wanted to I, I wanted to make a film about this. I was like, this is the, one of the first times in my life where an international story is kind of happening in my own backyard. Like I, you know, um, I was watching the news and like, you know, uh, you, you could like hear the sirens and kind of see the smoke from downtown. And so I n always knew that there was a great story, but no one wanted to touch it. And that's why when when Asia and I met, we were like, OK, I, we think that this is, you know, now is the time to kind of retell, revisit this story. Um, and when we connected with ESPN, they they told us that they uh, were looking for like a social media. They've been wanting to do like sort of like a social media story. And if you're familiar with the Thirty for Thirty series, and I'm mm. I've been a huge fan since two thousand nine when they started. Yeah. Uh, you, you know that it's not like they're these films aren't actually about. Uh, it's not really about sports. Like sports is like the entry level uh, entry way. Sorry, mm -hmm. into a bigger story. And so I knew, just being a fan of Thirty for Thirties, I was like this. I know for sure, like, this is 100% their cup of tea. And, you know, thankfully, it didn't, you know, we worked really hard on a pitch deck, but it didn't take long for them to come on board. So the Canucks are in the Stanley Cup Finals, Game 7 at home, hopefully in the near future. Uh, mm -hmm. You talk to so many people during this. Are they going to have the mechanisms in place to make sure this doesn't happen again? I hope so. I mean, that's definitely one of the goals of this film is to actually start this conversation, start the dialogue to to learn from our mistakes you know history does repeat itself we saw it in 2011 um and so hopefully the next time you know um the canucks make it to to the playoffs the, the stanley cup uh finals uh we won't we won't see this happening again because we you know the goal is to learn to learn from this and actually have a discussion um and so again yeah that was one of the main main things that asia and i wanted to do and that one of our main hopes for the film um and finally, Kat, what can you tell us about uh, the title? I'm just here for the riot. Where'd that yeah. come from? I'm just here for yeah. You know what? It was uh, we. It was uh, it was we. We actually had a title that we had been uh, set on for a very long time, and we had to actually change it. Um, and I actually have come to really love this title. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just here for the riot. I think when you watch the film, you'll understand it's a very layered title, but. Uh, most notably, it was a shirt. Someone actually got a shirt printed that said, I'm just here for the riot and wore it downtown. Oh. Um, and one of our subjects has to, has to do with this photo. I won't give it away here. Yep. You can have to come, come watch the film at VIF. Um, but we just thought it was just such a, um, a very uh, meaningful title because, again, a lot of people said i'm just gonna go down to, i'm just here for the riot i'm not gonna riot i'm just gonna go watch like i'm curious i'm gonna take some photos um and then by doing that they either made it way more difficult for the vpd to do their job because they just can like they, they it was harder um and it was just way more congested um with it by them coming down to look at the to take photos of the riot riot and the rioters they gave the, you know people who were rioting an audience and potentially egg them on to to do more harm um, and then three, some people, you know, as if you'll learn in the film, people, some people who, you know, were just there to observe ended up getting yeah. kind of swept up in things and did actually participate in the riot. Um, and then, yeah, so that, so, and there's another level layer to the, to the title, but I'll, I'll, I'll have to save that for when the, when people go watch the film. But uh, yeah, it's a title that um, we've, my team and I have come to, to love. Screening at the Vancouver International Film Festival. So Finding Big Country, The Grizzly Truth, and I'm just here for the riot. When are you going to have your own film festival, Kat? Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> yeah. enough of a catalog there. Yeah. I'm pretty tired. I have to, I'll admit, I I'm definitely need a break soon. You're the best. Thank you so much, Kat. Uh, thanks for joining Thank us uh, again and, and all the best. 
And also, yeah, Don Don's in this film as well. So what? Check out Don. What's going on here? Why, why do you think Cat's on the uh, show today? Hey, that's why you keep telling me. <laughs> Let's get her on. Let's get her on because you're, you're no, in the, no. the movies all it the time. It wouldn't matter. I'd, I'd have ah, Cat. I'd have it. you on no matter what, Cat. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, thanks so much, Cat. Thanks, Rick. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. You're you're in this. Yeah, uh, probably, you were in the Grizzly probably one for too. about 10 seconds. I don't get any yeah. invites. I don't get no one asked me the, to go into the, movies. The funny yeah, thing is about reason for that. the Grizzly truth. Taylor says, yeah, you know, I was interviewed, you know, not a big deal, whatever. Then I watch it. I think they used you for about 10 and a half That's seconds. That's what I'm saying. That's it. <laughs> I wasn't that good. Why I got the call for this one too, I have no idea. That you know what you know what it is. We got to get an old guy yeah. who grew up in uh, Vancouver to talk sure. about this. That's that you know. I'm, hey. I'm, I'm the token old Vancouver guy. You tell Cat to do a documentary on the '82 Canucks. Oh my God! You tell her and that's next, and I'll be in that one. Well, you, we, you, you, you we'll I love the '82 Canucks. Her. That's my favorite team of all time. Uh, I'm just here for the riot again. Screening October second and eighth as part of the Vancouver International uh, Film Festival. Those two screenings are at the Vancouver Playhouse October fifth at the park. Did you have a picture you wanted to? Uh, d- 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 Ryan, get her up. Look at this. Uh, I thought the uh, magnificent Good guy, <laughs> <laughs> the camera guy. First, let's give him credit. Mm-hmm. And then let's give these two credit. I uh, think he won. I, 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 <laughs> how do you, like, in, yeah. in the midst of a riot, how do you end up thinking, let's do this? I, 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 it's fascinating. The pitcher, the camera guy, these two. He Did won they won ever a, get he, interviewed? I don't know whose name it I is. I bet you're fascinated by yeah. this photo. He, no, won listen, an, he won an award for that. Yeah. They're for, were they from Australia? Yes. Yeah, the, no, the guy was. Both yes. of them? Yeah. No, the, no Donnie's right. The guy oh, was. So the guy was from Australia. The yeah. one on top's from Australia. <laughs> He wasn't down under. <laughs> Anyways, that's the best thing that came out of the riot, that picture right there. The camera guy, uh, 10 out of 10, good stuff, good work. I don't know if you call it the best thing. If Would it happen again, do you think? No, I don't. I, uh, I just don't think. I, I, I'm Unless not, they do away with alcohol, yeah. right, completely. Okay, if you're going to invite uh, Donnie, I'm, Donnie, on a serious I'm note, not so sure it wouldn't happen again. Donnie, 155,000 people in the downtown core. You Canucks lose game seven. Alcohol's a factor. Yeah, we, we could go on and on let, about let, let's, this. Let, let's put two and two together. Uh, the, the, the next time the Canucks are at home, game seven, with Heronic um, <laughs> yeah, okay. at home. Why? Uh, like, okay. Uh, we are Delaney's okay. Tyron Langley inbox is ripping don't you. Don't worry. We'll, come uh, they're ripping you about Heronic. But anyways, the next time, don't let 155,000 people into the downtown corridor. You know what happened, too? I think people got... Uh, the people in charge, and I don't want to knock the police because I'm yeah. j- j- pro police, but a part of it is that yeah. 2010 with the Olympic gold medal and that oh, celebration right. yeah, 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 yeah. was La La Land. Yeah. No, you know, nothing well, really happened. Yeah, they won. You know? It's a big difference. I know? don't think it is a big difference. She made the point that, well, well that was the first well, riot where, you know, the, 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 in Canada, was it, Ryan? Uh, the first two riots where a, a team had lost a championship yeah. game. Because Montreal, and it's documented as well, not like that, but um, the city of Montreal rioted after the Habs won Habs, in 93. Habs, 93, I remember that. Last Canadian but Stanley Cup title. This game seven, the Canucks were out of it early, Don. I think that played a factor too. People were the pent-up anger, you know, for two periods at least. 